Welcome to Leaks Code. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your own database completely for free and connect it with your Discord bot. We're going to be using the database heavily in future episodes to store role IDs, channel IDs, and etc. So let's go ahead and start out. You're going to click on the first link in the description and it's going to take you to MongoDB's official website. Here we're going to create an account by clicking on this green icon. Then here we can choose to sign up with Google. You can select any email you have. Now here we can accept the policy and submit. Wait until the database loads. Uh, or the account gets created here we can select build new application here we can select wherever you want for example uh, let's take uh, wherever other let's type hello what is your preferred language you can select your preferred language i'm going to select javascript and you're going to click on finish now here we're going to select the shared um, database which is completely free we can select the provided and reason or region i would recommend you select aws amazon web services and you can select where uh, the server closest to you where you're hosting your discord bot now here we can change the name of the cluster to be whatever you want you want i'm gonna name it lakes code then we're gonna hit on create cluster now here we will wait between one to three minutes to uh, load the database now that the cluster have been uh, created we're gonna go ahead and press on connect and then here we're gonna select a couple of options so if you're hosting your bot on your own pc then you should add your current ip address to be able to access the database else if you are hosting your bot on a host provider and you know the ip of that host provider then you can select this option but if you're hosting on a hoster that you don't know the ip of then you can allow access from everywhere and press on add ip address now here we're gonna select the database user admin with this account that you're going to create, you're going to be ab able to access the database and edit it. So let's type the username as whatever you want. And here we can set the password. I'm going to regenerate the password after this episode is done. So it's completely safe. But for now, let's go to the tutorial. I'm going to set an easy password. Now we're going to create a database user. Then choose a connection method. Now we're going to select the connect your application. And then here we're gonna copy this link and download our Robo3T. So let's go ahead to the second link in the description. It's gonna take you to Robo3T's website. You're gonna click on this green icon saying download Robo3T. Here you're gonna fill out your information. Now we're gonna select download for Windows. And now download the EXE. We're gonna go ahead and click on the installer and we're gonna run anyway. Next, I agree. Next, install and wait until the program gets installed. So that is done, we click on finish. We can agree to the terms, click on next. And then here you're gonna fill out your details again. Now we're gonna select finish and this page or this program should open up. So now we're gonna click on create and here we're gonna post the link that we uh, copied from over here. We're gonna change one detail. So instead of my first database, we're going to change it to be the database cluster name, which I selected to be Lakes code. And then where it says the passwords with these brackets, we're going to input our password that we created. And then we're going to press on from URI. And then we're going to click on save, connect. And now here we should be connected to our database. All right. Now to connect the database with our Discord bot, we're going to go ahead to our Visual CD code. All right, now we're going to go ahead to our terminal and type npm i mongoose to download the mongoose package. Then we're going to go ahead to our config and create a new value. We're going to call it database. And then here we're going to paste our database link with the password and the name of the cluster. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go to the ready event. We're going to require mongoose. We type const mongoose equals to require mongoose. Then we're gonna require our database link. So we have const database equals to require wherever your config file is. Pretty simple. And then we're gonna go down a couple of lines under the set activity. And here we're gonna type if exclamation mark database, we're gonna return. So if we didn't find the link of the database or the URL, we're gonna return. And here we're gonna type mongoose dot connect here we're gonna pass in the database link then we're gonna create a block here we're gonna set use new url parser set to true a comma then use unified topology set to true let me verify the names it should be topology not tropology and it should be it now here we're gonna type dot then we're going to create an error function. We're going to console.log that that client is now 
connect it to the database and then we're gonna dot catch if an error happens so catch error then we're gonna console dot log error all right so now let's restart our bots and see if we get connected so let's tap node space dot and here we can see that the client is now pretty and the client is now connected to the database thank you guys for watching and see you in the next episode